Savage. Yeah. Uh, just one quick question. Who here absolutely hates doing the Mexican wave? I want a show of hands starting over here and moving all the way across. See, it wasn't that bad. Magici Magicians are doing so well on the show this year, so I've decided to do some magic of my own. Oh, wait, um, David. Um, here I have an envelope. Okay. Could you just please look after this? Don't let anybody see it and protect it. Of course. With all your heart. Thank you. <laughs> so, for my first trick, I'm going to make the judges' smiles disappear. <laughs> oh, wait. Already did that by getting through to the final. <laughs> Down. After my last performance, I decided to give you guys a break. Hooray! Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's long enough. <laughs> I just want to thank Ant and Deck for all the money that they spent voting for me to get through. <laughs> the length some people go to just to make themselves look taller. <laughs> were those clowns last night. I haven't seen wacky costumes and terrifying makeup like that since Sharon Osbourne was a judge. <laughs> you gotta love shows like Britain's Got Talent and X Factor. Where else you get to see that tedious singing robot? Gary Barlow. <laughs> school disco and sat by the dance floor was a girl that I really liked. So I plucked up the courage to ask her if she wanted to dance. And she did! Which was lucky for me, because otherwise I wouldn't have a place to sit. <laughs> One Direction have gone their separate ways. That's ironic. <laughs> now, For those of you who don't know what ironic means, Simon, <laughs> it's like these guys judging a talent competition. <laughs> um, and just before I go, I'd like to remind you to vote Ned. I'd love to have a chance to perform in front of royalty. But if I did, I know it wouldn't be Prince Philip. That dude has got some savage material. <laughs> but he's retired from his royal duties. So who's going to travel the world offending people now? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, and the envelope. Uh, David, yes. do me a solid and post that to Buckingham Palace. <laughs> It, it's just a letter of apology for what I might say if I win.